Hi there, hope all is well. In this video, I'm gonna talk about um, how um, we can debug our React Native uh, apps. Um, and as you know, when it comes to React and um, website side, we can easily debug it through an inspect element and we can see console network tab and easily can see what exactly the requests we send, the response, and all this stuff. But when it comes to the mobile application, we can't track the network tab. So there is some applications uh, or packages which can help us to do this, uh, like Flipper and React Native uh, Debugger. And in this video, I'm going to talk about React Native Debugger. And React Native Debugger is standalone application for debugging React Native apps. We can easily install it through Home Pro from this through this command, or, or we can easily go to release and select what exactly the version or release we need um, depends on the operating system. Okay, I have already installed React Native Debugger, so I can easily open it. And by default, um, uh, the port which is uh, React Native Debugger open is AT81. But if you but you can easily change this port depends on what exactly the port uh, you uh, you are using on your application. For example, because it application is using Expo, so the port is this. So we can easily go to React Native Debugger and type the shortcut which is command T which will open this tab uh, and it will enable us to type in a specific port for our example, it will be this. So after that, we can confirm and go to the application and type command D and select debug remote GS. And now the application is linked to the React Native Debugger. But there is, we, we, as you see, there is an issue here which inform us to install the React, React DevTools because if we go back, if we use this version, um, it inform us that we will need to um, add this in the resu resolution section if we are using Yarn or uh, override this in in in, in the package um, JSON if we use npm. So let's go and start at this because in this project I'm using yarn method and just add it here. Then I'll need to type yarn on my case, and if you were using NNP, you can add NNP install. So after this, let's go back to React Native Debugger and just click to R to refresh the application. And try to link it again. And as you see, the application is linked to React Native Debugger. But um, as you can see, there is no thing as network um, tab. So what I actually need to do is right click here and just enable network and inspect. And if we go back and type R again, we will see actually what is the request we um, we send and here is the request and also here is the response and yeah that's all um, to debug the network tab and also you can see the console and everything you you need to track your react native application you will see it here and Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day.